So, so eliminating sure. woo, you mean? The yeah. idea of uh, a soul being some sort of a divine thing that's inside the housing of the body. Yeah, I mean, I, I yeah. so so here's my arm, right? So it's made of electrons and protons and neutrons. And uh, if, I, if I have a soul in there, something that we don't understand, but it's a different kind of energy or whatever it is that we don't have in physics at the moment, experiments, or at least this is extremely subtle. And you would have to jump through a lot of hoops to come up with a theory of some stuff that we wouldn't have seen that is present in our bodies. And presumably, if you believe in the soul, you want it to exist outside. When you die, you still want the thing to be there. And you might believe in ghosts and things like that. Mm. I mean, look at a ghost. I mean, it's a, it is something that carries the imprint of you, presumably. It looks like you, right? So that means that it interacts strongly with the matter that is you because mm. it carries a pattern. If it carries a pattern, it carries information. If it carries information, there has to be an energy source that allows that information to persist. 